Hello from me, Patricia, and welcome to the Haiku P podcast, the sixth of the third series. This week, we're cooking on gas, as one of my old bosses would say, as the haiku and senryu are all about recipes. But before I continue to all the terrific verses, let me just update you on a couple of things. Firstly, a huge thank you to everyone who answered my Twitter call for Haiku and Senryu on the topic of lakes. It was a bit last minute, as I wanted to try something new, a video haiku walk on YouTube. If you've not seen it already, you can find it on the Poetry P YouTube channel and on the Poetry P website. Speaking of the website, there's now an opportunity to sign up for our mailing list. Many of you have already given me permission to put you on the list, but the community has expanded since I asked the question, so if I haven't asked you and you'd like to receive mailing from us, you can sign up. Last, but not quite least, don't forget to check the topics for the rest of the year. You still have time to get those haiku and senryu written and submitted on the topic of afternoon break. The deadline's April the 1st. Emails only, please. And... There's just a little bit more news at the end of the podcast about the children's anthology. But enough of that. Now, let's get back to today, and our topic is recipes. It was a difficult subject, I think, but you all came up trumps, and I'm delighted with the results. I hope you'll be too. As usual, I'll start with some previously published work. They were fiendishly difficult to find. Then... I'll turn to our poets, who haven't written for us before. And then, of course, to our regulars. As you know, I add a little bit of information about our poets to the show notes, so please do go along and have a read. So without further ado, some published verses. Chopping onions, my grandmother's paper-thin skin. Marion Clark. Breakfast alone. Slowly I eat my melancholy. Michael Dillon Welsh In the pot, soft long noodles, forgetting the old year. Abigail Friedman Holiday recipes. I set a haiku on the back burner. Laria Lee Fraser Now I'd like to introduce some poets new to us on the Haiku P podcast. Preparing Baklava, Her Annoyance in As Many Layers Anjali Wahadpande Next, Linda L. Ludwig Now that she's retired, she finds she has more time to spend on her creative ventures, writing poems and songs, as well as drawing and ceramic painting. She's had some success in having her haiku published at the Haiku Foundation and Femku magazine but now is sharing her work more widely. And we can, I hope, look forward to having more from her on the podcast. Our children carry the recipe. The next generation. Mafiz Zudin Chaudhuri is a poet. Although he writes haiku regularly, he writes other forms too. He enjoys the experience of Facebook, where he's joined and contributes to a number of poetry groups. Perhaps you know him from there. And now he's found us. And this is his first contribution to our podcast. Elephant apple with hard fish. Soul-tasting recipe. Next I'm thrilled that we're welcoming yet another poet from British Columbia where Jessica Renee Dawson is studying poetry. So far in her poetical journey, she's graced journals and magazines such as Poetry Quarterly and Wild Plum. And now, of course, she's writing for us. Bitter Tensions, A Right and Wrong Way to Scramble an Egg Tiffany Shaw Dyer's has achieved what I can only dream of. She's a Pushcart Prize nominee. As well as hearing from her today, 
you can find her work in many reputable journals and magazines, and of course her blog. The Art of Imperfection Drizzle Caramel My thanks to all our new poets. I hope we'll hear from you again. But now we turn to some familiar haiku and senryu voices. Potato fritters, red chilli flakes burn between the fingers. Christina Chin Wild mint, the yearning for home in its aroma. Marilyn Ward The comfort of porcini and polenta. Snow falls. Marina Bellini Marshmallow delight, melting above the fire, mouth-watering. Catherine E. Winnick Wuhan underpass, the smell of roasting yams. Roger Watson A Jew starter dressed with a breeze of bees and bluebell fountains. James Young The Rise and Fall Life's Souffle Dorothy Burroughs Turmeric Paste The Sun on Her Face Ah Suresh Babu Baking Pasta Teaching Mum to Use the Oven Richard Sharma A dash of bitterness, simmer for ten years, add affairs and divorce. Tim Gardner Tickling the main ingredient, fried trout. That's from me. Bloody beetroot, it looked good in the recipe book. Kim Russell Splattered grease. My daughter asks where babies come from. Tia Haynes. Carrot soup. Hints of ginger in his beard. Robert Horobin. Thickening broth. I conjure my mother ladle by ladle. Jonathan Roman. Mum's old recipe book, jam-packed with takeaway menus. Tracy Davidson. Trying a recipe with garlic gloves. Typo. Roberta Beach Jacobson. Dog-eared recipes of the old country. Mother's native tongue. Erin Castaldi. Instagram, tiny bowl envy, hungry hipsters. Constance Borg. Discussing our recipes for life, taste buds stir. Pat Gia. Second generation, they ask for the recipe of her store bought curry. Isabel Caves. Fragrant Kitchen, Spontaneous Samba, Now We're Cooking, M. Shane Pruitt. Signature Dish, Chef Special, The Flavour of My Childhood, Hemapriya Chelapan. Summer Gala, Sparing Hung Curd for Her Shrikhand, Neelam Dadwal. There's a little note about Shrikhand in the show notes. Eastern Bazaar, in the voice of the saleswoman, spicy notes. Bakhtia Amini. Spinach soup, the child stirs and stirs the bowl. Muskan Ahuya. Grains and water. Never-changing recipe for visiting sparrows.
Miniko Takahashi. Hard boiled eggs. First cooking lesson. Valentina Rinaldi Adams. Bombay gin mixed with tonic on the rocks. No malaria. Richard Bailey. No special recipe. Swans eat peas all the same. Pearl. Lipstick on his shirt. I put an extra heap full of pepper in his curry. Vandana Parashar. Without her, still remembering to salt the water. Kristen Lindquist. Old yellow tooth in mum's recipe box. Welsh cakes. Art Friedine. Romanescu, a photo first, then steamed in garlic butter. Wendy C. Bialik. Grandma's bread. The love she forgot to add. Debbie Strange. On the grill, mushrooms and the smell of the forest. Liliana Dobra. Coffee and sugar with sunlight. Birds sing. Tara Stechuk. Green Meadow Medicines from God's Pharmacy. Antioxidant. Eva Drobna. Now, we started with a little something from Marion Clark, and so we'll end with a little something from Marion. Snowstorm in the Kitchen. Her first cake. Thank you so much to everyone who contributed to the podcast today whether new or familiar voices. And remember, there'll be more verses for you to read when I publish the first quarterly journal from Poetry P. I've nearly finished the bare bones of it. But as I haven't done this before, I'm not sure exactly when it will be available. Those of you who are on the mailing list will find out as soon as I know. So don't forget, if you'd like to be on the mailing list, you'll find the sign-up on the homepage of the Poetry P website. The next topic is afternoon break, and your deadline for that is the 1st of April. I'm looking forward to reading more verses for that. Keep your emails coming. Now, as promised, a little bit more news. Remember I said some time ago that I'd like to put together a children's anthology this year. I'll tell you about it in the next podcast. But start thinking of haiku and senryu for children as I'll be opening the submissions soon. Well, that's it from me for this week. The next podcast is in a couple of weeks, and I'll return to the topic of the essence of haiku. And of course, I'll bring you up to date with the latest Renku. I hope you'll pay me a visit there too. Until then, keep writing. And if I've missed anything out in the show notes, just email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Ciao.